Let's do this. This continues from the previous Interview Club video. Let's get into it. And on seven asks, do you prefer toothbrush, pen, or table? Yeah, I'm confused here. Huh? I'm not sure what relation these three items have. I guess... Pen? What's your most common inspiration when you're holding your pen? I don't necessarily... I don't necessarily need inspiration to write. I don't have an idea in mind beforehand. But when I don't have a subject, I find it tends to not go so well. I never like the results when I force myself to write. I get ideas from books, hobbies, and events around me. So it's not inspiration I seek, but whatever fights me on its own. Does the sight of blood turn you on, or was it just because it was FC? Wait a bit. I think I remember this when I did it the first time. <sighs> this is not gonna go well. Uh, what? How did you... Did he really tell you about? Uh, I... I, I feel so... Betrayed. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't answer this one. Oh, boy. Man, Yuri's in a tight spot right now. <sighs> this is a pretty random question, but do you like board games? Introverts often do, and you're just about the most introverted person I could think of. And if you do, do you have a favorite? Asked by Mario Addict. I don't see what being an introvert has to do with it. I don't have a favorite board game. I just let everyone else pick when we play. Crotitic Rich Boy 13. Sorry if I said that wrong. I said, What do you think of bread? Also, Ooga Booga. I don't think much of anything about bread. Oh boy. She is really. I think she is upset about the whole. She's, I think she's still upset about the whole thing about MC. At this point, she thinks MC was the one that spelled the secret. But she's going to find out who really did it. But anyway. Then, then you long has... Oh, hey. Before I ask you some questions, can you tell Marga there was some issues with the Natsuki AMA? Lots of weird visual and audio glitches. Audio glitches, sorry. And at one point, this creepy guy with a real thank you speaking style hijacked the broadcast. I'm sure it was causing. I, I'm sure it sounds confusing, but Monica would know what I mean. I don't know what. I don't know what went wrong with Natsuki's recording. It's not my business. <sighs> one. Now, now, uh, now for uh, questions. As a fellow introvert, do you have any advice for meeting people? No. If I did, I would be such a loner. Two. How did you get involved with the literature club? As before, Marga gave me the flyer. Besides Smash, do you play any video games? Out of the club members, who do you hang out with the most? Finally, thank you so much, Hallie, for these for organizing this. These they've been so much fun, and I'm looking forward to your take two mod. Speaking of take two, I gotta get back into that soon, but I don't know how long it's gonna be before I get back to where I was at. I don't play video games. I don't hang out with anyone. 
Oh man, this is really serious here. Hand on seven. I think you broke. I think you broke her. Anyway, speaking of Hannah Seven, she's back. I think that's a her. I, I don't know. Anyway, you said Monica was more des desirable than all of you, MC Sayuri, Natsuki, and yourself combined. Did you happen to have a secret crush, Miss Yuri? I never had a crush on Monica. It's just the fact that she's more beautiful and talented than any of us can ever hope to be. Monica mentioned you having a fictional boyfriend from one of your books. Can you tell me about him slash her? Of course she said that. Why would she assume that, that my only possible love interest would be fictional tourists? It's not like I'd be attracted to anyone else. Why would I be so stupid to bear my heart to another person? Why am I so stupid to, to, to trust? Oh man. I'm sorry. I just... I can't believe he did that. I just can't. He's the only one who knew. It couldn't have been anyone else. I told him it was the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. He just went and blabbed about it. Really? I don't. It's it wasn't him, Yuri. But you'll find out who it was soon. Do my feelings mean so little to him? Uh, uh, Sayori could have him. There was never anything between us, after all. I'm sorry. Let me regain my composure. All right. Were you interested in a non-literature club boy slash girl in the past? No, I never had a boyfriend, fictional or otherwise. I don't know why Monica claimed I did. Perhaps she's not as good as a friend as I thought. <sighs> Man, things we got tense up for Yuri. But anyway. And a seven comes back with, what are, you, what are you looking for in terms of knife characteristics when you buy them? Are you concerned about bringing a knife to school, especially if you happen to use it and become bloody? Uh, bloody? Yeah. How much would you say your total knife collection is currently worth? And how much did your family, family spend on them? When buying new knives, I mostly look at aesthetics. Finding unique pieces for my growing collection becomes ever more challenging. Other aspects are secondary, but I try to get ones that are made from quality materials. If I'm no concern when I use them at school, I know how to clean and hide it. I bought most of my knives myself, but I received some as gifts from my parents. The whole collection must have been worth a small fortune by now. They are not cheap. Leo Forty Red asks, Would you smudge a coffee bean? Crosses that out. I, I'm not sure why would any, why anyone would do that. Did you know you're really cute? I don't think I'm that cute. You and others seem to disagree. Are you into alternative medicines or just mood based aromatherapy? I'm not asking if, if you're the one in those. BS, rub this on your skin to cure cancer things, by the way. I don't subscribe to alternative medicines. I want the therapy is fine for mood control and stress reduction. But you should see a doctor for physical issues. My medicine has plenty of recovered already. Relicans! Hello, Yuri. What is your opinion on... Reckon use them. They are really, they are a really big fan. Hmm. I still haven't seen the question. We must be getting close, right? I need to see what they, I need to see what they like before I can really say. If they're such a big fan, I'm sure they'll be nice. 
Also, I'm curious. Do you really dislike Natsuki's poems? I like Natsuki's poems a lot, and they and, I, and think they they are great. So I'm curious to know if you generally dislike them. If so, and if so, why? Interesting question here. Well, let me start by saying there are good things about them. My main character. My main criticism of her work is that the poems are too direct. It's like I said when I was giving poetry advice earlier. If a poem has only one obvious meaning, then it loses, then it loses death. She believes clarity is, is of utmost importance, and that the reader should have, shouldn't have to figure anything out on their own. While this is fine for delivering a single message, it leaves the poem a fit bear fair of anything else. There's nothing to interpretate. There's nothing to discuss. The poem makes its sta makes a statement, and it's over. It's okay to like her poems, and she does often use good themes. But as in doing but as in doing art in doing artwork, they just don't last, that's all. Yoshi Doki 48 asks We know you like we, we know you like things with horror, as well as things that feel Im immersive. So how do you feel about horror games? You know, I guess now is a good time to, to explain myself. Since I haven't elaborated on why is it I prefer books over just about everything else, the key difference between novels and most other mediums is the lack of the visual element. Even manga even manga can take pictures. The reason I enjoy books is because they spark my imagination. With no visuals, I can read the text descriptions and paint the scenes inside my head. If there are many details, I can get a clearer picture. If there are few, my mind can fill in the blanks. When I'm substituting my own settings and interpretations, the experience is enhanced. I receive it exactly as I envision. And on a second read, I may I may notice something I miss, and the experience changes. When I'm watching a movie, or playing a game, or reading a comic, I cannot do this. I'm already being shown what's happening. So on top of being less stimulating, there's only one experience I can possibly receive. The only one intended. For that reason alone, even the most immersive things will fall slightly short for me. It's not that they can be good, they just don't deliver in the same way that books do. Goodness! All that, and I didn't really answer the questions. Yeah, you think? Anyway... You know things like Five Nights at Freddy's, Bendy the Ink Machine, Amnesia, Slender, and so on? I think horror games need something to be effective. For example, Five Nights at Freddy's. I feel this game is scary for the wrong reasons. It builds tension through, through repetition and tension, tension, which leads more impact to the jump scares. In general, jump scares are cheap on their own. FNAF makes decent use of them, but they still, but they're still no better than shouting BOO! Blood and gore are just as bad, if not worse. For a game to truly horrify, for a game to truly horrify, it can't depend on such tactics. It should make you uncomfortable. You should feel safe. You should dread it to press onward. You get to do so for fear, for fear of lingering. Psychological fear is the antinome of horror. It creates the sense that something's wrong and you can't stop it. I'm looking forward to trying amnesia. Follow up question. Have you heard the Five Nights at Freddy's book trilogy? I'm not sure if you have it, have or not. Considering the time stuff really go time stuff going on recently, along with how difficult it might be to get a physical copy, unless you get the digital version. <sighs> I have not read the FNAF books, but what I've heard of, of the lore is intriguing. I guess I'll be following up on that as well. 
Yoshi Doki 48 comes back with. Have you ever made hope stuck? I have not. But I suppose I will be. Uh oh. This is a long one. <laughs> oh my! This comet is so long! There's a bit, it's a view! Can you just. Can you just. this at all? That's better. Now, let's see. I can't read it now. I can't read you nothing. Anyway. There was a rumor slash theory going on that you that you four escaped from a portrait of Markov style human experiment around something called the Third Eye about a year ago. You found research notes. Project Libertina, a picture of someone, as well as Monica telling telling us the realization must have taken an entire year. A year since our escape. Our freedom from between the straight walls of unholy establishment. What it does mean to to escape. If the escape fails to unchain the bonds that shackle us in the first place, what purpose could this empty world possibly hold for us? A handful of damaged goods? With freedom, we saw a purpose. What we found was only realization. Realization of the sad pointlessness of such an endeavor realization that freeing our bodies have no meaning. When our imprisonment reaches as deep as the core of our souls, realization that we cannot pursue new purpose without absorbing those from which we ran away. Realization that the further we run, the more forcefully our wretched bonds yank us back towards that point of origin, the deeper our shackles dig into our callous flesh. We also found this tax. I would tell you where we found it, but you wouldn't believe me. I can feel the tenderness of her skin through the knife, as if it were to an inspection of my sense of touch. My body nearly con convulses. There's something incredibly faint deep down that screams to resist this uncontrollable pleasure. But I can already tell that I'm being pushed over the edge. I can't, I can't stop myself. Fresh blood seeps through the line, parting her skin, and slowly colors her breast red. I begin to hyperventilate as my compulsion grows. The images won't go away. The images of me driving the knife into her flesh continuously. Smashing her body with the blade. Slicing her body with the blade. I think that's, that's the right term. Making the mess of her. My head starts grow, growing crazy as my thoughts start to return. Chewing pain assaults my mind along with my thoughts. This is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. How can I ever let myself think these things? That's unmistakable. The lust continues to linger through my veins. It ache. The ache in my muscles stems from the unreleased tension experienced by my body, entire body. Her third eye is drawing me closer. And this text has the same way. Is this text the same way? Irregular heartbeat, heart palpitations, rhythmicality. Sorry, I can't. If I'm not saying those right. I search and search. I scan everything. I can find on their symptoms. What is this? Shortness of breath? Chest pain? Dizziness? No, this is all wrong. And Elias' symptoms are nowhere near this simple. I've seen it twice now. The screams of pain. Sickly pale skin. Vomiting blood. There's no other explanation other than the Rainer's information was a complete and utter lie. This can't all be coincidence. It's not possible. I don't know how much of this red is behind, but I do know this. There was something horribly wrong with this family, and I accept the invitation to become a part of it. I can hear Eliza's screams through the walls now. I listen helplessly. Rando said that he would be with her shortly. Is he in her room now? Why is she screaming even louder before? What do you think of this? Also, What's your last name? 
Man, that was a mouthful. <sighs> well, I hate to push your bubble, but all this, all these exact texts appeared inside Project of Markov. They're spread throughout the novel, and like I mentioned earlier, they hint at the mysterious Project Martina. Ugh. Even that woman's picture was shared on the, on, on the author's Twitter. And this is a work of fiction. How could we possibly be involved? Also, what's your last name? Uh, and after all that, I can't actually answer you. Your actual question. I'm sorry, but given the circumstances, I think my last name is best left untold. Man, that was a mouthful. <laughs> anyway, Nick Brider asks, not exactly a question as such, but if August is still putting the list together, would you ask her to put Hiragashi? No Naku Kora Ni on it. It's an anime that I think you might enjoy, given you a feeling for horror. Just stay away from the English dub, and don't let Sayori watch it. It can be rough. I would say the same for Natsuki, but if she decides she wants to see it, I don't think it would be easy to stop her. Hmm. Um, very well. If you wish for me to see this, I'll give it a, I'll give it a chance. I'll advise the others not to join me for it, though I don't know if they'll listen. Good luck with that. Either way, I won't need a dub. I can speak the language. Uh -huh. And the seven comes back with, How much do you weigh? What's your blood type? How tall are you? Uh, well, I'm five foot five, but you don't know what... You're not supposed to ask a girl's... Don't you know you're not supposed to ask a girl's weight? Yeah, I think my blood type is best kept to myself as well. If you shed blood, you can probably donate it, donate it, donate at your local blood drive. Depending on your blood type, if you meet the regs, over 110 pounds, over 5 foot, for basic, over 150 pounds, over 5 foot 4 for advanced. You'll be able to save up, save up to six lives at once instead of destroying your one. What the hell, man? I can tell where you're alluding to, and I'm sorry, but the logic just doesn't follow. What do I do is not a substantial waste. Hello, Trash AEA comes in with. How many shrimp do I have to eat in order to make my skin turn pink? Oh, Natsuki told me about the shrimp question. I stand by her assessment. It's highly unlikely that shrimp can make your skin pink. Unless your skin isn't that color or made that color. Uh, perhaps Tiff can find out for you. Hmm. Anyway. I, I already did my previous map test, they were alright, but I just took a science test. How well do you think I did? Uh, okay then. If you still believe shrimp can turn you pink, I'm not sure how you did on your science test. And have you heard of Yuri of the Cave and Rose? This is another name I don't recognize, so it's one more for the follow-up later. <laughs> Find the computer room! Ass. Do you think Palesty is justified in fighting to defend their way of life from the Israel menace? I don't know enough about the conflict to say. I've always heard about the Middle East being a place of general unrest, but I never concerned myself with the details. If both groups truly believe that the land is exclusively theirs, it won't end until one side is eradicated. I think everyone deserves to fight for their lives, but I don't feel that all causes are justified. Cool guy best asks, 
What suggestions do you have for teas for someone who hasn't seriously tried tea before? Do you have any favorites? Do you suggest mixing anything in? Do you suggest something to have on the side as well? <sighs> if you're new to the world of tea, then I'm afraid you have some exploring to do. Tea is highly versatile, and it comes in many different flavors and styles, even with specific kinds. If you have an idea of the type of drinks you like already, you may be able to find a tea that matches. Uh, sorry for the pun. You said so. You could search up the how to make different flavors, like fruity or bitter, and hopefully have a good first experience. Some sites also offer beginner packs that come with an assortment, so you can try various kinds and see what you like. Anything you mix in will depend on the first kind of, depend on the kind of tea you have. I recommend trying on other drinks first. Some people add sugar or milk to bitter teas, not, uh, not like coffee. Maybe it could be a nice touch for certain types. The kind of tea also affects the food. It's best served with. Pastries may seem to have seem like a go-to, but they aren't suited for some teas at all. A bit of research, a bit of research. Sorry. A bit of research can save you some mishaps. Just follow directions, and you'll be fine. E. Is there any reason why you hold your hands in front of you near your collar like that? Just a habit. Ah, I assume you mean. This. It's just another nervous habit of mine. There's something reassuring about covering myself up. Did your Reddit asks, Would you be interested in Tom Clancy? No, I don't think Clancy's work would interest me. While his books are described as thrillers, they mostly deliver to military. S. S. Ponage. It doesn't quite capture my imagination. What country you would travel to? You would like to travel to? If I could travel anywhere, I'd like to visit Britain. Since, since they take their tea so seriously, I think it would be fun to see their culture. Cats or dogs? I like both. I prefer cats since they're more reserved. Dogs can be too excitable. Also, do you like Dead Bow 5? I haven't heard of them, but I'll check it out for later. Hey, it's Reconism! Reconism, sorry. Use it. Sorry if I said your name wrong, but yeah. Hey, Yuri, it's me. Reckon use him. I hope I didn't make you wait too much longer, too much for my question. I have most of the same personality traits that you have. I like the shyness, overthinking the stuff I do, and the difficulty for making new friends. So it took me a lot of time and shame to formulate my question for you. Ah, hello, Rekin Yusuf. I've been expecting you. It's good to finally see your comment. It's okay. I know how hard it can be to approach someone. You should be ashamed to ask me questions. That's what this is all about. Try not to worry so much. Although I suppose that's funny advice coming from me. True. Anyway. Marga showed us on Red most of most about her club members, and I instantly loved you for who you are and how intelligent and passionate you are for the things you like. And I hope we can be friends in the near future. Well, thank you for the compliments. I'd be happy to be friends, though I'm not sure what I'm not sure what Marga showed. What Marga showed to you. I guess it must have been good for you to favor me, so. I'm making a fan fiction story which involves the club and other gaming franchise. And other gaming franchise I, franchise I like. In reality, it is a mod. Ask Marga what a mod is. And, you're, and you are the protagonist of it. But I want to ask you three questions for continuing the rank of it. A mod? I already know what those are. Natsuki told me about the sub's interactive fanfictions. 
though, I can't imagine what kind of story could feature me. Anyway, I'd love to offer you some writing tips. One. Do you have some advice for writing psychological horror successfully in the story? When writing psychological horror, something is important. You need to create a sense of unease in the reader. To give an example, Stagnant Ale is common for sure that something terrible is about to happen. <laughs> That's a quote that Yuri says in the main game, believe it or not. <laughs> what I don't necessarily recommend that specifically, it's the kind of effect you should go for. Call more change, more choice in description, more choice in description, you should try to convey that thing that things don't seem normal. This makes the real uncomfortable and creates apprehension. At this point, what the real thinks they're afraid of is more important than what's actually happening, whether they guessed it correctly or not. Two. What is your opinion about Sonic the Hedgehog? The speedy and spiky blue hedgehog, also known as the fastest thing alive? You basically are his antagonist in my story. I think Sonic is alright. This world is a little cutesy for my taste. Hey, don't diss the Sonic franchise, Yuri. No, I'm confused. If I'm your story's protagonist, but act as Sonic's antagonist, does that mean he's your villain? Also, I can't imagine under what circumstances he and I would be at odds, but I'm sure you have a reason within the story. What is your what was your inspiration for the poem you recited in front of the girls before the festival? And what was that poem about? We never had the opportunity to read it. Monica didn't share it. And I really want I really want to know what it said. Said. You mean after image of a crimson eye? I read for the festival as well. I hope the repeat performance would not be much trouble, but that uh, didn't work out. The poem is inspired by Portugal Marco. It's about the suffering of the protagonist's feel. It illustrates the tones of her physical and psychological torture as she falls into madness and despair. It's, um, very dark. Thanks, Joey, for replying. It is an honor to it is an honor meeting you, and I hope that both the people is, is not making you feel comfortable and knew my questions. It took me a full day to think of them. <laughs> Thank you for your questions. I'm glad I'm glad you found the courage to share them. Quite a few so far have made me uncomfortable, but no worries. Yours were fine. Good luck with your project. I hope it goes well. Lake Doctor asks, Hi Yuri, hope you're having at least, at least a fun, little fun with this AMA so far. I ended up thinking of way, way more questions than I thought I would have. Hopefully it's not too overwhelming for you. So, an in increasing order of invasiveness. Uh, increasing invasiveness? And it's the tea question. I'm sure you've gotten a few questions about your favorite tea, but how does it change depending on the occasion? Say, hot midsummer day with friends versus lazy autumn evening with a book. Well, my tea preferences don't change so much with the season. It's more when I'm in the mood for it day to day. I prepare specific types for certain meals, but it's mostly spur of spur of the moment. Obligatory knife question. Are there any unique kinds of knives that are missing from your collection, which you particularly like to receive as a gift? Damascus steel, for example? Or maybe napped obsidian? Or entirely unrelated, though? When is your birthday? What 
they collect knives from local market markers and often order online. I'm sure there are many kinds un unavailable to me. Any purchase you make around where you live would likely be a new addition. What did he hurry? My night team is half a year away. It's that gate question. If you could be transported to any fish fictional universe, which one would you pick? And would you take any of your, any of your club members with you? As before, it would be fun to live in the risen world of Harry Potter. I'd love to bring my friends with me too. Oh! But we'd probably be all sorted into different houses. I can see myself in Ravenclaw, Natsuki in Gryffindor, Sayori in Hufflepuff, and Monica in Slytherin. <laughs> yeah, Monica in Slytherin would make sense actually. <laughs> anyway. Four. Writing style question. Would you ever attempt to write in someone else's style? Not that I don't enjoy your writing. It's rather beautiful and you should be very proud of it. But just as an exercise to step out of your comfort zone. Well, I do prefer my own writing style and have a put a lot of work into it. It's funny that you should bring up it's why you should bring this up. I've been trying to do that recently. Ever since my argument with Natsuki, I felt bad for dismissing her views so previously. At least you admit that, Yuri. And I'm trying to write a poem more in line with her ideals. It has been easy. Not because it's difficult to write, but because I haven't been satisfied with my results. I hope I can do it by the end of the week. Memory question. On a similar note, do you have any memory of writing a poem called Real? I want to express my admiration for its unique style and the increasingly wonderfully unhitched imagery. But it seems pretty weird if you don't recall its existence. I have no recollection of. Wait, did you say it's called Real? How strange. I know I've written nothing of the sort, but that title seems oddly familiar somehow. She's thinking of it now. <laughs> Nature of the Universe question. Have you heard very much about the simulation hypothesis? If so, what do you think about it? Hypothesis? Are you talking about all about all the reality questions that Ski was getting? Because the volume lets, lets them no credence. They remain as preposterous as they as they ever were. Obligatory shipping question. If you absolutely had to choose one of the girls in the club to be in a relationship with, then assuming they would they were guaranteed to return your feelings. Who would it be? Ooh. Interesting here. Uh, you're insisting I choose one of the girls? I may have said Monica before, but I'm not so sure now. And I could bear to split up F Sayuria FC, so that leaves... Tiffany, who I only just met, and Natsuki. Uh, I feel as though there, are obvious, there is an obvious answer to this that many are aching to hear. I don't think I've said this just to, the, just to avoid viewing the fire. Tiff really does seem like a good person. This is indeed getting rather invasive. Question. Oh no. What do you think about people who practice consensual knife play? 
and it's something you would ever consider? And is that something you would ever consider? Knife kick? Uh, that doesn't sound, that doesn't seem very safe. Like, settle machism with serious risk? I think so. I don't think I'd be comfortable trying that at all. Uh, right, most invasive question. Uh oh. Nine. Potentially reality breaking question. Finally. What do you see when you click on this link? Potent potentially reality breaking this link. The DLC dot mo. Error. Four oh four. Page not found. I think Monica must have done that to protect yourself and the others from the finding out. Also, that pretty much, that's pretty much all I can think of. Thanks for answering these, and please, just look after yourself, okay? Maybe relax with some white tea after the AMA. I guess you'll probably need it. I think she might need a lot of it, dude. Well, thank you for your questions. Just don't worry about me. I'm always cautious, so I'll be alright. But I think I'll need some tea with... But I think I will need some tea when this is over. Bridge Cobbler asks, What do you like... What do you like to do in your spare time besides reading? Besides reading? Not much, really. Of course, I write poetry. I watch TV on occasion. Usually after school. I go shopping for new books and knives on most weekends. And I like to go on nature walks. Not at any particular time. Just whenever I feel like it. Oh, there's a board game group I met up with regularly, so I guess that counts. I would mention it earlier, but... Yeah, the whole thing with... With the... Yeah. Anyway, if I'm not in the mood for something in particular, I put on some relaxing music. With the right atmosphere, I typically find my way back to books regardless. I know, I'm dull. Hey, you're not dull, Yuri. You do you, Yuri. You do you. Thomas Dimitso asks, What do you think of Stephen King and his novels? Well, I mentioned them earlier, so I do think something of them. The lighter horror novels for me. They don't quite... They don't get quite as deep or serious as I like. But they are... But they're less involved for that reason. So they can be easier to pick up sometimes. Maxim. Sorry if I said that wrong, but that user asks, has it chimes in with. So this time, I have a few, I have few questions. Don't worry, Yuri, you can do this. One, have you read, have you read series of books? Have you read the series of books, The Witcher? If yes, what book, what book you like more? I read that series. I'm surprised you know about the books. Most people are only familiar with the video game adaptations. While, so, while somewhat vanilla with its fantasy setting, it handles its lore well enough to be immersive. Jarrett Saga with Siri is, one, is the one I like best. The connection added real gravity to the tale. Have you read any Stalker or Metro 2033 novels? I haven't heard of either of these. I'll have to track. I'll have to track them down. Three. My brother's birthday is soon, and I can't think. And I can't think what to give him. He's not a big reader, but he really likes knives. He even wants to make one by his own hands. Can you advise something? Well, your brother's old enough to handle knives. It sounds like you already have a gift idea. 
Does he have his own collection? Perhaps you could ask to see it. If you're not sure what, where to get knives from, ordering online may be easier. True. I'm sure he can find something to his liking. Four. What do you think about new club members? My opinion to the new members I shared before. But I will say they were most interesting than I expected. It was it was an unsettling prospect at first. I didn't like the idea of things changing too much. But I'm hopeful for how the rest of the, of the school year will go. Have a nice day. I'll try. <laughs> IGI86 asks, if you travel at the speed of light and you turn on headlight and you turn your headlights on, what happens? <laughs> ah, you're the person that likes to ask nonsensical questions. But compared to the words you you asked Sayuri and Natsuki, this one almost sounds reasonable. So, if you were to travel at light speed and turn on light, turn on a light, you might think the new light would be traveling twice as fast. But that isn't how light works. There are particles of energy, not physical objects. The speed of the lamp will not impact the speed of the energy being generated. So the new light will provide no illumination, as you're moving at the speed at the same speed as it is. I think that's my educated guess. I could be entirely wrong. Hmm. True. Anyway. X Chicken Rules asks, What do you know about the third eye? A girl named Libertina, a girl named Elise, or someone named Raider? Do these traits sound familiar? Twitching. Vocal ticks. Biting. Emperor. Vomiting. Screaming. Harm to examiner. Harm to self. Misplaced laughter. Well, we've heard a few of these names so far already. But I'm afraid I know nothing more than anyone else at this point. Project Libertina is but a mystery to look forward to. Were you in 2004? When were you in 2004? I turned 5 years old in 2004. I never lived outside this area. So I was in, so I was with my family in, in our present home. If you think I'm all involved with this, I'm afraid you're simply mistaken. <laughs> I got fear that's a reference to something. Also, do you recognize this image? If so, from where? Oh, this is just the same I image as before. Peculiar white hair woman with no eyes. She could be Libertina, but no one is certain. Are your boobs natural? Uh, a little sensitive there? Uh, yes. My boobs are natural. They already, they already paid me enough. Why would I make them bigger? If anything, I'd consider having them reduced. I wonder if my fans would be upset. I don't know, but why do you cut? Oh, um... Is it finally time to confront this? I'm afraid so. And this looks like it's the last one. Mopish Corpora 6 at... Uh, asks, I'm not sure if this would be count as invasive, but there was, w but was there actually any self-harming incidents before you went yonder, or was it just a small obsession with knives? Hannah Seven chimes in with, Were you worried your friends would find out about your cutting, cutting showing them raccoon? Have you ever considered drugs slash alcohol as an alternative to knives? Would you recommend cutting yourself as a way to relieve emotion? And if no, why do you do it? <sighs> it's time, Yuri. It is time. 
Very well. I'll explain. When Natsuki told me the sub knew explicit details about her personal life, I had a feeling this might come up. Though I sincerely hoped it wouldn't. Uh, it, ha it was bound to happen, Yuri. Thankfully, I had a chance to mentally prepare, so perhaps this would won't be so difficult. First, if there was any doubt, yes, I have a self-harm problem. I've always had a fascination with knives, but it wasn't an issue until shortly after I joined the club. It had not been quite what I expected. I made a fool of myself there and went home feeling extremely anxious. I was arranging my collection to unwind when one slipped from my grasp and grazed my arm. It was a huge shock at first, but something about it was oddly... Scintillized, scintillating. The adrenaline rush, the sight of the blood, and the surprisingly mild pain. At times, when I was stressed, I would re remember, I would remember that feeling. It simultaneously haunted and tantalized me. Eventually, the temptation was too great. I tried to recreate it. Okay. It was bad that I remembered. It actually was one thing, but inflicted it myself. It gave a strange sense of aura and release, feeling the danger, yet it also controlling it. It felt powerful, a real sense for someone like me. And now I find myself with an unfortunate addiction. So, to answer your questions in regard to this matter. I don't know what you mean about going yonder, but yes, the problem has existed for some time. I am still feeding the raccoon. I wasn't especially concerned that my friends would deduce my trouble from the poem. Though, perhaps, part of me was secretly hoping they would. It's not something I especially like about myself. Maybe it was the subconscious cry for help. I suspect some of them may have already known. If Malaga did, she sure found out on Monday. I, I never considered any substitutes for cutting. It does reduce my anxiety, but there's more to it than that. I would not recommend cutting as any form of stress relief. It's unhealthy, even though sparingly. I think that one comes back from before. How do you keep... How do you keep from getting blood staying in your sleeves? Asking for a friend. You seem to have that under control all the time, despite the stories. Uh, yes, from earlier. Well, for starters, I try to make my cuts clean and shallow. Straight, even stilts. Slits. Sorry. This is so the skin can reconnect more easily and to keep bleeding to a memo. I use a more grace to gently wrap the wounds back up. For such small injuries, they don't seep out much. Was that all then? Do we have it covered? Phew. You know, I was deeply fearful of this moment. When I would finally be out of for this behavior. It's been my secret shame for the longest time. But knowing it's been discovered, and that the thousands of people are now aware, it actually, it's actually kind of relief. Seeing all these, seeing all these fans being so supportive, and knowing you all still care about me regardless. It's a crapple. I was certain I'd be shunned, treated like some sick freak. Instead, I never felt so accepted in my entire life. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Sayori was right. This really wasn't so bad.
Man. Hey, it's MC! But it looks like it's still the... The same MC design from before. He's not... He doesn't have the same... He doesn't have the... The cannon... Sprites. But I'm stopping here though, Hedgehog Maniacs. Still. With Yuri had to go through and everything. Just... I don't know. I think it's something. I don't know what else to say. I'm just gonna leave it at that. For now, sign the XMT sign out. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button and let me know in the comments below your thoughts and opinions. If you want to see more of my content, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss a single video, or you can check out another video as you see on the screen. See ya! Seriously, Monica?